Hi, this is February 12th, a new day. I look almost exactly the same. Uh, right now I feel a little bit better. When I got up in the morning, though, I uh, felt awful. Uh, my lungs were a little collapsed or contracted or whatever you want to call it. My chest was sore, my lower back was terribly sore from uh, sleeping, although I slept pretty good. Uh, I slept a full night with only about, I don't know, four interruptions. <laughs> I'm also a little better with the breathing apparatus here. Before I was only getting to about a thousand, which is what they uh, wanted me to get to. Now I can get a little higher. Um, I have all my medicines here for pain. I have ibuprofen, uh, 400 milligrams every six hours, even if I'm not in pain. They say to keep taking it, and when that doesn't help, I have, where is it, hydrocodone, uh, ibuprofen is in the same family as Toradol, which they were giving me in the hospital through the IV, they can only give that for 72 hours because it damages your kidneys, um, it's excreted 60% by your kidneys, they said, uh, and then hydrocodone is a a uh, narcotic, which um, is in the same family as morphine, sort of, not exactly, but uh, it has some of the similar effects, just much less pronounced because it's uh, in pill form. I have, to keep my heart stable, a small dose of digoxin, because I, in the hospital I was getting a, arrhythmias, uh, pr more premature ventricular beats, except much more commonly, and I was, I had, the first night I was there, I had a ventricular tachycardia episode of about 13 beats, the second night I had an episode of 7 beats, and, um, before I left, though, they said I hadn't had any major episodes uh, <clears throat> in 24 hours, and those were both asymptomatic and not in themselves harmful, but they could be dangerous. So they think that's just because of the swelling in the area. Uh, and they were thinking that my arrhythmias before were because of the uh, hypertrophy. I have furosemide, or Lasix, which is a diuretic, which is used to, uh, um, they started giving it to me, um, This is, I call this my care blanket. It's like a care bear, sort of. You hold it against your chest when you need to cough. Uh, that's just because they think I was retaining too much fluid in my blood to help my heart out. And uh, I have baby aspirin, which is also supposed to help my heart function. And lastly, a stool softener, which, uh, it's, it's difficult to, uh, to take a crap because of, uh, the chest pain. And, uh, so that's supposed to help. Um, 
I've been doing better on that recently, though. Uh, I was constipated for pretty much the first three days, and it's been slowly getting better. I was also retaining urine, and this is a, a story about the Lasix, actually, because they, uh, they gave that to me the second day. Uh, immediately, although they gave me a stronger dose through the IV, immediately after removing my urinary cath, which I didn't even want them to remove because I basically didn't feel it at all, and uh, it was very convenient, but um, <coughs> hospitals, as slow as they are, are not very patient, and uh, they thought that it would lead to an infection or something. Um, so, <coughs> so they removed that. They gave me the diuretic, and about 30 to 60 minutes later, I had a 95 to 99 percent full bladder, and I couldn't pee. Uh, they had to recatheterize me, and the nurse decided to use what's called a straight cath, which is just smaller. Going in it, it hurt about as much as the, the other one did coming out. Coming out, though, was much easier, <laughs> uh, and it relieved my bladder um, for the time being. Fortunately, my bladder woke up basically just in time afterwards, but it was a, a terrible experience, and all throughout the hospital I was uh, checking to make sure uh, I could still pee, especially, and I was thinking that that was because of the morphine PCA. PCA is, a, that's where they give you the button to press it when you need a extra pain relief. Um, <clears throat> Though it could have been from <clears throat> the anesthesia as well, but after I stopped the morphine, um, my bladder woke up fairly quickly, you know, within six to eight hours or something. So, it was probably that. Um, I, I literally could not pee at all. It, I could, like, push on my bladder, but it wasn't passing through the urethra. After that, though, my uh, bladder woke up more as time went on, and my bowels started waking up a little bit more, so um, I still haven't really had a fully normal bowel movement. Um, anyway, sleeping is difficult. <laughs> Partly because it's difficult to get in and out of the bed. Um, in the hospital, I, I, I was having them like lift me in and out. Finally, I found I, I was told that I could just kind of roll in. So I, I figured out how to um, just raise the bed all the way and kind of plop myself down and re-lower the bed. And to get out, sometimes I would have to lower the bed all the way scooch up, then raise it all the way, and kind of roll out. That's something I couldn't do, though, before, uh, like, the third or fourth day, just because, um, I wasn't fit to be doing it. Uh, <clears throat> here, though, it's different. I have to just kind of try to position myself and fall into bed, and, uh, it's a little easier to to uh, sleep on a recliner, as they've uh, mentioned. Hold on. Oh. Here's my recliner with a... Uh, with blankets on it. So I slept half and half last night. Mostly on my bed, though, and uh, the bed is what more hurts my back, even though it's completely flat, which they were thinking that my back was hurting in the hospital bed just because I was had it uh, at an angle upward. Um, 
I think it's because I can't change position very well. I'm starting to get that ability, though. Uh, last night I was able to um, roll side to side a little bit and prop myself up with this, actually. I should probably get another another blanket or something. Uh, so, that's basically my concerns of the moment. Uh, later today I'm going to uh, try to clean myself up a bit and inspect all my uh, bandaged parts and change my bandages and stuff. I've been really tired though. Uh, that's that's the main thing, just fatigue and just uh, inability to do things because of stiffness or pain or whatever. <laughs> 